Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to be trying to draw on metal for the first time. And over the past year I've been trying out Posca pens and I've been pushing myself to try new drawing ideas and this is one of the projects I've wanted to attempt for a long time. Uh, it's a piece of stainless steel, it weighs about 5 kilograms, so it's a bit different and a bit heavier than the pieces of paper I'm used to. And when I ordered it, I asked for it to be about 25 by 25 centimeters. So actually, while I waited for it to be delivered, I took the time to plan the kind of drawing I wanted to work on. Knowing the dimensions, I was able to plan the layout as much as I needed. As you can see, I wanted to draw an owl, and I've been setting up wildlife cameras for the past couple of years as a hobby. And recently I spotted an owl, it was a big surprise because I've been wondering for a while now how it would be possible for me to record an owl, because I hear them at night, but I wasn't sure where to place the camera, maybe up in a tree or something, but it, it turned out I didn't have to. I had the camera on the ground and the owl just happened to land next to it. I think it was looking for mice, um, it was just so lucky to get this shot. It was a bit out of frame, but I I'm so happy with this. Seeing this owl with one of my cameras inspired me, and initially I worked on a sketch with a ballpoint pen in my sketchbook. Then I moved on to developing the outlines that I wanted to add to the metal, keeping in mind that I wanted to use Posca pens for this artwork, as they seemed like the most appropriate choice for a project like this. Once I had the outlines planned and the stainless steel on my desk, before starting this project I realised that I should probably clean the metal first, in case there are any oils or chemicals that could affect the art supplies I use. And if you've watched me draw before, you'll know that I always like to tape the paper to my desk, and this stops it from moving so it doesn't make the video difficult to watch. But with a heavy piece of metal like this, I didn't need to, although I did decide to add some blue tack on the back, just for the peace of mind, and this was enough to keep it securely in place. After that, I proceeded to add the outlines that I'd been planning, and I continued to develop the idea and the layout. I knew that I wanted to add a tree branch and some cherry blossoms, and I also wanted to make sure that later on in the process I was going to make use of negative space, letting the reflective metal shine through. And so that was the challenge for me. I've never tried anything like this before, and I've wanted to try this project for such a long time, so I was really excited to finally be making progress on it. One thing I noticed immediately was the reflections on the surface. There were moments where it really confused my eyes, and hopefully it looks alright in this video. I tried my best to light the metal and angle the camera in a way that showed the outlines more clearly. Uh, you might also notice that I'm wearing a drawing tablet glove. I, I realised that any marks or oils show up extremely obviously on the surface of this stainless steel, so I needed to wear this glove throughout the project. Eventually, it was time for me to start using the Posca pens, and I recently picked up another set of these pens, pastel colours that I have in various other sizes, but these ones are extra fine, so I thought they would help me with the smaller details of this drawing, especially around the owl's head, and maybe the cherry blossoms, and details like that. For some of the outlines around the owl's face, I initially tried using a multi-liner, as it's much smaller, and I had more control over the line work, but I soon realised that even when the multi-liner ink had dried on the metal surface, it could still smudge, and after noticing this, I went back over those outlines with a black Posca, fixing the problem so there wouldn't be any risk of smudging the details later on. 
I eventually also decided to leave gaps between some of the feathers without any outlining to let some of the metal shine through. And in areas where I didn't leave enough space between the feathers for the metal to show, I used my mechanical pencil to scratch away some of the paint. And using the pencil in this way without any lead, it was the perfect size to create the spacing between the feathers that I wanted. After working on the owl, it was time to add the background, and I, I was quite nervous about this stage. After putting all that time and effort into the project up to that point, I really didn't want to mess it up. I applied some washi tape to keep the lines nice and clean, and I added sky blue with a large Posca pen, and it worked out really well. It wasn't totally smooth, but it was about as smooth as I could possibly get it. I didn't want to try and add another layer and potentially ruin it. Then I followed up that background with other details I wanted to add, with the moon, the light blue stylized smoke, and the cherry blossoms. And I decided the branch would be the area of negative space that I mentioned earlier, with the metal shining through. I think it frames the owl quite well, and hopefully helps to make the owl stand out. I have to say, I loved working on this. As I mentioned at the start, I've wanted to try this idea for such a long time, and each stage of this drawing felt so rewarding to see it taking shape. The process took a lot longer than I expected. In total, I think it took about 12 hours of video recording, but that doesn't include all the time taken waiting for the paint to dry. It seems to dry a lot slower on the metal surface, and I guess that's because none of the paint is being absorbed like it would on paper or wood. So there was lots of waiting between each bit of paint I added. All that waiting made the end result feel really rewarding though, it was such a nice feeling to complete this project.
I hope you enjoyed this video. I find projects like this really exciting, and hopefully that excitement is reflected in these videos. So be sure to let me know what you think of this, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future art projects I could try. Your suggestions are so helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, then feel free to subscribe to this channel, and any likes or shares on this video are hugely appreciated. If you want to follow and support my art progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing okay, and I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you all soon.